Hello everyone, FC231, and here is this little guy. Now, you're probably thinking it's a protoceratops, but no, I mean it does look like a protoceratops. It is not a protoceratops, it is a leptoceratops. These guys ate plants and ferns often nicknamed slender horned face simply because the front part very slender front part of their head front part of their face was skinny and they lived in the woodlands so total opposite of the protoceratops which lived in desert plains this little guy lived in woodlands um open forest areas it was from the Cretaceous period, 145 to 65 million years ago, and wasn't so large of a dinosaur. It was about eight, seven to eight feet long. This guy was released way back in 2004 from Safari, and it's kind of cute. I mean. He's over, overall green on the bottom underside, it has a lighter green color, kind of like a light lime color. Then towards the top it gets darker green, and you can see little green stripes along its body, red little dots on one side, red little dots on the other side. The front part of its head is orange, and then along its frill, the frill is outlined with a red color. The feet, the paws, or not the paws, the bottom of its feet have a darker green color. Probably like the stegosaurus representing mud or little yeah like little it would get dirty as well but the amount of detail on this little guy is pretty cool I mean look at him not bad not a bad representation of the leptoceratops It may have been a different color, not all green, but probably yellow or dark yellow or maybe brown. But not, not too bad. It measures three and one quarter inch long and about one and one quarter inch tall in height. So again, it's not a large figurine, it's very small. Standard size of a paper clip. So yeah. A close up of its head. You can see its nostrils, the eyes. And then on the other side, it also had little flanges, kind of like the Permian period reptile, the Scutosaurus. Little flanges on the side, mostly for defense. It's a little frill with a pattern colored scheme in there yellow and green. Those are the red dots I mentioned. And this part is slightly elevated along its tail. A lot of paleontologists debate are debating whether some of these little dinosaurs had hair 
on this part of its tail towards the back hair or um, I'm sorry not hair feathers and this little leptoceratops is the, a relative of the triceratops so it's a close relative to the three-horned dinosaur triceratops Overall verdict on this little leptoceratops, three stars. It's a good addition to your collection. This one was a little gift. A friend of mine gave me this as well. And there may be updated versions of a Leptoceratops figurine, but I have not seen any yet, at least to my knowledge. But this one's not bad of a representation of it. It's cute. I like it. And it's wonderful to have next to your herbivore dinosaurs.